I have a travel trailer with the two 30 pound propane tanks and they, um, I have no idea how much propane is in each tank. So what I usually do is I kind of figure it by camping days, how long they last and uh, then just go tank, tank in and have it filled up. Um, so I'd like to know how much I got in the tanks at all times so I don't have to worry about it so much because we camp a lot. So what I've done is um, asked, my birthday was the other day, so I asked for a gift and I got these uh, tank sensors that will tell me exactly how much is in the tanks. So here's a set I got. Um, it is the LP dual sensor with uh, monitor kit 024-1000 comes with two sensors that go on the bottom of the tanks and also with the um, it's an LP tank monitor for each tank that I can put inside the trailer to monitor and it has feet that go on the bottom of the tank I'll show you those later how they work it's to keep them elevated so the sensors that stick to the bottom of the tank do not uh, hit the bottom of the uh, platform and get damaged so um, this also works with Bluetooth and so it's got a nice Bluetooth uh, monitor that you can see each tank sends a signal right to your phone and it shows you the level how much percentage is left in the tank so I'm going to give these a try. Um, from what I've heard, other people, they reported these rubber feet, they will break. So I've contacted them to see if they could send them some metal feet instead. Uh, but I'm going to come up with my, other, my own solution. And uh, so what I've got is I've got some washers that I bought at Home Depot for like $1.20 a pack. And then I have some bolts. And I'm going to uh, come up with something. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Then I have a dielectric grease, which I was reading. People were saying they were having problems with uh, the sensors. There's two magnets here, and there's a little rubber foot here. And these stick on the bottom of the tank. And it sends a signal through the tank to see how much uh, fuel you have in the tank. People are saying these rubbers um, kind of stick to the bottom of the tank and pull off, um, causing it to stick. And then they, they're having to replace these little rubber pieces. So someone recommended using dielectric grease, which I got at Home Depot also for nine or ten dollars. So I'm just going to put a dab on the rubber and then attach it to the tank. And that should make a good connection and also. Uh, keep this rubber tap from coming off. So, that's what I got. Uh, this this setup here, I think, was seventy-one dollars. So here's the platform with one tank removed. The tank goes here. These two bolts bolt down this tray. So. The monitor is right here in the middle and so I don't want these bolts here I'm going to take them out and I'm going to take here and put a few washers with a bolt here and here three points so the tank will set on those washers and elevate a little bit these will be gone right now I'm going to swing over here here's what it looks like with it underneath the tank so they usually come with um, the four rubber feet that go here to lift it up, but I've heard they break, like I said. Um, and so they sell a metal one. And I, I've uh, contacted them to see if they could send me metal ones, but I'm just going to do my own setup. So that clears there by probably a sixteenth of an inch. I don't like it that close. 
in case the tray bends or something, it might hit it. And then this is just magnetized onto the tank. There's a rubber foot. I'm going to put that dielectric, dielectric um, grease on it and just stick it on here. The tank has a flat spot right in the middle. It sits right there. And see, there's a rubber. That's a good example. There you go. The rubber's already messed up. Now it's flattening out so that dielectric grease will help it. And there's the rubber sheet there that I'm not going to use. Here's what it looks like with the washers in. I have three washers on each one. I just put them in a triangle to keep it up. Remove these like I said I was going to. And here's what it looks like with the washers underneath it. So they sit like that all the way around tank sits on it the bolt heads keep them in place the tanks from sliding around plus the bracket that holds down the tanks uh, locks it in place pretty well so I'm gonna put this on the tank this tank it's flat on the bottom right here magnets I put a little bit of dielectric grease on the rubber pad you can hardly see any I put more just a minute ago it was quite a bit of dielectric but the whole thing slid around so what i did was i just wiped it off left a little bit on there and then stuck it on and then it doesn't move around so now I'll flip the tank over and uh, see how it registers so now both tanks are in place and there's a nice gap underneath uh, to keep the tanks elevated here in the bottom you can see the washer holding it up. So I think that this uh, will work. Um, I'll, I'll show you some screenshots um, now of what it looks like. Um, but first I want to show you something else. So here's my smartphone screen. And in the middle of the screen third icon from the left is tank and uh, this app is loaded onto my phone using the instructions that came with the unit I purchased and so here we go I'm going to click on tank takes me to the tanks I have the two 30 pound tanks and then it shows here they're updating constantly while you're in this app so tank two passenger side tank one driver side and it shows the percentage levels in the tanks so i'm going to go to driver one side tank one side shows the sensor information battery signal quality and then if you look here there's a little eye next to sensor information click it Explains what each one means. Battery displays the level of the sensor battery. The battery level may drop in cold weather, but will return when temperatures increase. And then the signal is the wireless signal strength of the last received sensor reading. And the quality is the condition of the sensor's reading of the tank level. I'm going to hit OK. Then you go here. You got tank is 84% updated five seconds ago and then tank info I'm going to go to the little eye and tap it and I'll tap it again and then it shows tank information pretty much just says the tank make sure it's on a level surface make sure the sensor is directly in the center of the bottom of the tank and make sure your tank is not setting on the center because it will damage it and then make sure you wipe off any possible sand or dirt off the bottom of the tank so you have good contact with the sensor hit ok and then we got here um, if I hit in the top right the little wheel you can see tank one driver side then I got uh, region is United States 
tank size is 30 pound vertical set it, we set this up and then alarm threshold is 20 not sure what happens uh, if I get a beep or something comes up on my screen haven't found that out yet uh, when it hits the 20% threshold you can change it to whatever you want um, then you got I got it set up in percent not inches or centimeters and then I'm going to go back top left like that top left to go back again then I go to tank 2 it's got a hundred percent and then let's see what else we got I'm going to go back again then on the top right you'll see the lines I'm going to click that comes up with this and then I'm going to hit just uh, the only thing I'm going to check is help page I think this takes me to their website. Yep, and then it takes me here. And then there's setup and install instructions. There's a lot of information right here on the sensors using the app. You can see the manual on the sensor. Battery replacement. I think I'll use that mostly because that gives me numbers to buy replacement batteries go down more information more info troubleshooting tips just make sure your tanks level uh, make sure your tank center is uh, centered on the center of the tank underneath and then uh, Make sure the tank's clean, not dirty or anything. Uh, make sure there's clearance so your sensor doesn't hit anything underneath and break. So, and then make sure your spacers to hold your tank up are um, there. And they're able to keep it up uh, so your sensor doesn't hit the bottom and break. Just so you know, I got mine came with the rubber feet that go on the bottom of the tanks and like I did uh, put those washers on there I called the company and uh, asked them if they could send me the metal feet and they said no problem so they shipped them out to me and I had them in like three days so I'm going to keep those around so all in all I think I like this um, setup and um, We'll see how it works out. I'm going to um, keep keep an eye on this and hopefully never run out of propane again and I'll know what I have and know when I need to fill it up. So, so here's the monitor and what I found out was there's a first generation and second generation. This one here is only made for, uh, it's programmed for 20 pound tanks. So what would happen is the tank, I have a 30 pound tank, it would have to get to less than 20 pounds to start reading. <clears throat> so it'd be three quarters of the tank, it'd show full. So what I found out was on this one, you look at the number on the back and that's what you got. And then I called uh, AP Products and told them that I had 30 pound tanks and they said, okay. So they sent me this out for free, free shipping, everything. I appreciate it. Really good customer service with them. Um, so what they, this one is, is second generation they call it. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. So you can see the difference. But put them over, they look exactly the same. So first generation, second generation. So I'm going to put this to the side. This one here, uh, I've tried this. Um, I ran the propane. I got this tank down to 17% on my phone app right now. So let's see what it reads. So it's showing it's down. Click it. It's off. Click this on. This tank is uh, full. 
So that's reading right. So I'm going to show you something real quick. How you program it for a 20 pound tank, 30 pound tank, or 40 pound tank. So you hold this, no flash, keep holding it, and then you'll see the on the bottom right, see it's on yellow, green, that's 40 pound, 20 pound, 30 pound, 40 pound, 20, 30. I'm going to let go. Now it's programmed for a 30 pound tank. So pretty slick. I highly recommend this, this setup and AP products. Big shout out to them. Uh, they've done an awesome job by uh, providing excellent customer service. I really appreciate it. So now I'm just going to mount this up by my panel and um, see how it looks up there. So here's the monitor uh, I mounted just below my control panel. It's just mounted with two screws. And uh, earlier uh, in this video, I mentioned about uh, setting my propane tank alarm. So if the tank got down to 20%, um, I wasn't sure what it would do if it would give me an alarm or beep or something. Well, I ran the tank down to below 20%. And what it did was, when I was camping, what it did was it came up on my smartphone, uh, said, warning, you've gone to under 20%. And uh, and then it beeped at me. So it came up a, a screen and then it gave me a little icon. I clicked on it and then it opened up and showed me the tank level. So at the end of this video, I have uh, three screenshots of what that looked like. So that's kind of a neat feature that I wasn't really aware of. So anyway, I just want to let you know it's a good system. If you're thinking about doing it, it would work great for you. It's working good for me so far. Happy camping, everybody. And if you can, please hit subscribe and the... Uh, like button on this and the little bell so you can see future videos. Thank you. Take care, everybody.